So that's God's master plan for me, being here right now in this moment, alive, doing whatever I'm doing right now. Now, it's natural for the thinking mind to come up and say that this is not enough. What is my purpose in life? I'm not simply satisfied and happy with myself where I'm at right now. I need to be somewhere else. I need to be doing something else. This is not good enough. Correct? Is that, I would say, is this thought going through your mind, Raphael, of thinking or feeling like there is something bigger for you to do in this life than what you're doing right now? Yes, I would say um, this is pretty small, what is going on. Right, so you're curious that and you feel like there is a bigger purpose, a bigger plan for you in this life. Correct? I can hope. Yeah, your hope. Correct? So that means that what is right now, what is happening right now, is not good enough. That there should be something better, something different than this. Correct? Yeah. Look, I'm not trying to put you on a point uh, because what you're asking is very valid and it's not, you're asking this question on behalf of everyone. Everybody wants to know that what's God's master plan for them. And, but what I'm trying to point out here is that basically comes with this notion that what is right now with my life is not good enough. This is not satisfactory. And I want something bigger than this. I want something more significant than this. So in this work we do is that we honor that because it's a desire that we have as human beings. We all have a desire and we all feel we want to be connected. We want to be a part of a bigger, uh, a bigger thing, something more significant, something more constructive, hopefully towards uh, maybe serving the divine will for us being on spiritual path. And a lot of us are like, you know, I really want to help other people. I want to be a healer. I want to be able to uh, be a spiritual teacher or guide or, or if you're a nurse or if you're a doctor, you want to help more people. What, whatever is um, your thing. So naturally that question comes and naturally with that question also comes a level of dissatisfaction that what I have and where I'm at right now is not good enough. Now there's two things here. A is number one is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with I want to improve my life. I mean, if you sit down and talk to me and say, Zaratustra, what do you have going on? Like here in year 2019, I, I set my goals. Like there is a number of different things I want, I want to accomplish uh, in this year. Like I want to make educational videos. I want to finish my second book. I want to put out my, my CD. I want to expand to other countries of what I do. There's a number of different things I want to do. 
And that desire of wanting to improve things and expand things, it gives me the joy of life. It makes me feel really alive and connected and, and uh, brings me energy that, to move around and to do things. So I like to be creative. And that creativity makes me feel alive. Now, I met a good friend of mine last week and we're talking and he said, I am ready to retire right now. Zaratustra, I would love to retire. He was telling me about his perfect day, his perfect day that he got up at six in the morning he went and he had his smoothie in the morning. Then he went to a spin class for one hour. After that, he went and had some coffee or something. Then he went for a swim in the ocean. He goes back, he has a good healthy lunch and then he goes and sits in the sun for an hour or two. And then uh, he was just telling me, look, I can do this every day. I'm ready to retire if i could do it financially i would i would do it he, unfortunately he has to work for another eight nine years before he can do that but he was saying zaratustra if i had enough money i would quit my job and i would be doing this every day okay for me this would be a death sentence <laughs> <laughs> you know, it would be equally to putting me in a prison because I don't want to retire. 